even though we don't know a whole lot about it, there's a lot of reasons to be excited about Transformers Reactivate, or at the very least, optimistic. Um, as many of you know, here on the channel, I play a lot of Transformers games. I mean, it's in the name, Autobot Dawson. Um, and I've always loved Transformers, uh, the toys, the games, every aspect of it. But I don't know that I've ever been more sort of excited and anticipating a project uh, more than I am Transformers Reactivate. Um, and let me give you just five reasons why that is, despite the small amount of information that we know so far. And again, I want to reiterate, as of now, the official website still says that a closed beta is planned for 2023. That could change, of course, and there's a lot of speculation that it has. But, you know, that could still happen. When that happens, I will be covering the game immensely, uh, assuming we're allowed to film stuff for the beta and all that. Um, for both the beta and the full game, I'm going to be doing streams, guides, um, informational videos, all kinds of stuff. I'm planning on covering this game as heavily, uh, if not heavier, um, than I have Monster Hunter, Destiny, um, and uh, Tears of the Kingdom, for example. Okay, now, to the five reasons. Number one, um, it is developed by Splash Damage, you guys. They've worked on projects like Gears of War, Wolfenstein, Halo, some Batman games. So, like, this is definitely a studio who has been around the block, knows what they're doing. Um, they should be pretty trustworthy in this, I would think. Uh, and while I may not know everything about this studio, um, what I do know clearly from their work is that they know how to make a good feeling shooter game, um, which paired with the Transformers franchise should be absolutely fantastic and hopefully take us back to the glory days of War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron, if not to new heights. Next, multiplayer co-op. Now, one of the best parts of War for Cybertron was definitely the co-op campaign, you guys. Um, I even replayed that recently uh, with my cousin and friend here on the channel, and I gotta say, it was a blast. You know, an escalation was a big part of both those games, Dark Spark. Any time that you can actually have not just competitive PvP, but cooperative multiplayer and PvE activities, um, you know, I'm all in. I'm a big, I love Destiny raids and stuff like that. To be able to possibly get that level of activity in Transformers Reactivate set in the Transformers universe is definitely a very exciting prospect and a huge part of why I'm excited for this game. Which brings me to the next, uh, you know, point here, and that's long-term investment. Everything is pointing towards this game being a looter shooter. Uh, you know, sort of an online, almost like light MMO in a way. Now, what I want to say about that, you know, and this is coming from someone who used to play Destiny a lot and has burned out a little bit and plays it just when I enjoy it now, you know, uh, and even though it's not an MMO, a game like Monster Hunter that had regular updates until it was time for it to end, uh, you know, I put a lot of hours into. So I do have some degree of experience um, on this topic. And while I know this genre has a lot of problems and has a reputation for coming out as sixes and sevens and that kind of thing, um, you know, at launch, they do get support after launch, you guys. And that's exciting to me because this is a Transformers game that unlike 90% of the other ones, I'm not just going to, you know, do the campaign for the YouTube channel and then that's it. There's going to be so much stuff we can do together on here. Play together as a community even. Um, but also just the, the aspect of getting new characters, new content here and there throughout. Think about it like this. You know... You may do a raid in another game because you want a really rare weapon or a really rare item. You might do an activity similar to that in Transformers Reactivate because, oh, this one has an exclusive character behind it. You know, that's, a, that's an exciting prospect. Like, imagine, let's just say, for example, you're doing uh, an in-game activity that just came out. It's like DLC, part of a DLC pack. And the reward is, say, you just get to play as Optimus Prime, or, or you now unlock a Maximal, something like that. We don't know what all is going to be in the game, but what we do know 
is that there's going to be unlockable characters and there's going to be updates to this game as it is a live service game which means there's a possibility here that we are literally grinding to earn transformers through new content which just sounds really awesome to me and as long as you take these games uh, with a healthy balance uh, in your life which i have to do these days uh, seeing as you know unlike when i played destiny a lot where i was in high school you know i'm a full-time worker and married now so like you know youtube is this thing i do for fun uh, and so basically, anytime I'm streaming, that's the only time I get to play games. So, like a lot of you all, uh, I'm sure it's going to be relatable. We're not going to be playing this thing 80 hours a week or anything like that, even if we want to. I think that causes a lot of burnout with this genre. Uh, and as long as we approach it from a healthy perspective and try to only play it when we're having fun with it, I think this has potential to be a long-lasting Transformers property. Imagine we're getting new toys, new content, all that. For years to come if it does well and five years from now we're still talking about transformers reactivate that would be amazing i also want to talk about uh, for reason number four how this could be the first true next gen transformers game now we don't know if it's going to be on last gen consoles or not but we know for sure it's going to be on pc xbox series x and ps5 um, what's exciting about that uh, even if it is on last gen consoles, which on, honestly, the more the merrier that can play. Um, obviously, I'm all for that. But we have the potential to have these this like very graphically enhanced Transformers game uh, running at an awesome frame rate. Perhaps even uh, you know just having that next gen look. I know it's supposed to be an Unreal Engine five game, so it definitely has potential to look absolutely stunning and amazing. So, you know, that alone is a reason to be excited. Finally, I want to mention the Legion. That's right, the enemies that we're going to be fighting in Transformers Reactivate, you guys. All we know is that they're an alien race that we haven't seen before in Transformers, that they're described as the gravest threat the Autobots have ever faced, and that we are in a post-apocalyptic Earth. Uh, as you can sort of see in the launch trailer that's playing in the background, um, Earth has been completely taken over by these enemies. And the Autobots are having to be reactivated, hence the name, uh, by a group of human scientists as the last hope for Earth. This just sounds awesome. It sounds like it's going to be pretty dark and gritty. It also sounds like it's going to be something really fresh for the franchise. Like, this isn't just Autobots versus Decepticons. In fact, they may even be teaming up. We don't know. Um, it just sounds like an all-new enemy type. We're going to get some really cool alt modes. You know, the Legion have this potential to take Transformers to whole new whole new areas. Uh, new areas in space and just new sort of designs that we haven't seen before. You know, one of the things a lot of people liked about the 86 movie was the fact that there was all these alien species and things like that. So it's going to be exciting to see that here in Transformers Reactivate all these years later. Well, you guys, that's all I have for these first five reasons um, to be excited for Reactivate. I really just wanted to do this video to let you guys know that I am going to be covering this game immensely. Um, so do subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing that in the future. Um, there's plenty of Transformers content to dig your teeth into here. I have a playlist on the channel called Transformers Gaming. I'm going to be linking that right here on the screen as we speak. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're as excited for Reactivate as me, and let me know down below what, what Transformers content would you like to see next, and what other gaming content would you like to see next. I have a variety of games here on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, this is Autobot Dawson Gaming, rolling out.